dear minister, dear uh, Mr. Ambassador, dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Pharmaceutical Committee of the Hellenic American Chamber, it is my honor to welcome you all today here in one more Health World Conference. This is a conference that for more, for more than two decades follows closely the developments in the health area and attracts all the significant actors, agents of this system, politicians, academics, the industry, um, regulatory organizations, and all bodies to uh, exchange ideas and take the best decisions regarding policy making to the benefit of the patients. Allow me to stress uh, that we have a differentiation in our conference this year because uh, nobody could be here if we wouldn't, if we wouldn't have uh, the pharmaceutical innovation that managed to give us the opportunity to come to norm normal uh, uh, rhythms in our lives uh, after the pandemic. Ladies and gentlemen, the data from uh, pharmaceutical innovation in uh, dealing with the pandemic are very important. The first COVID-19 vaccine was uh, approved and used in less than 12 months from the initiation, the commencement of the pandemic. In the world, we have seven approved uh, vaccines. Three billion people people on the world have received at least one jab against the COVID-19. According to research, the vaccines have saved approximately 20 million of lives in one year. Remembering the Spanish flu, we had uh, uh, more than five million deaths uh, in 1920s. Via the licensing schemes, we have 381 uh, corporations uh, uh, globally to produce vaccines. We have uh, approved uh, treatments for COVID-19 at the European and the international level. So, ladies and gentlemen, the pandemic has set uh, the agenda for uh, health uh, um, for the people and has made it uh, an important discussion for the public agenda. Today, all the European countries uh, update and reform and support uh, their health policies in order to meet all the challenges, daily challenges and the increased needs of their patients. They shield their health systems for future challenges and they recognize the uh, significance to have a steady framework for uh, medicines and medical innovation. Unfortunately, the, the, the funds uh, for medical uh, care and drugs in Greece are not very high, while they are costly at, uh, for the end user, and they are not um, seen as a leverage for growth and development of the society. However, this, is, this would be important for the benefit of the patients. However, the pharmaceutical is expenditure is undermined by uh, weak uh, policy making so uh, rebates are the main tool that the pharmaceutical companies have in order to uh, uh, respond to this challenge this uh, deviation is uh, further strengthened due to the measures that the government uh, has recently taken regarding clawback and clawback and uh, rebate and uh, uh, introducing the outpatient expenses, which uh, increase uh, the rebate amounts, especially in the chronic illnesses or serious illnesses. The pharmaceutical industry, on the other hand, uh, continuously promotes uh, proposals for the improvement and the betterment of uh, the pharmaceutical environment so that the companies can strive and thrive in, uh, can thrive in Greece instead, instead of striving. The clawback uh, amounts uh, of today uh, has to be uh, structured uh, in a way that uh, can uh, support funding for the coverage of the true needs of the clients, of the patients, uh, by the pharmaceutical companies. Our 
organization has uh, proposed, has suggested uh, several proposals uh, as for the innovative uh, uh, drugs that uh, some pharmaceutical companies have uh, for uh, rare illnesses. The proposals are a single uniform system to balance obligatory compulsory rebates for all uh, medicines, uh, justice for all categories of uh, drugs, a ceiling, a cap for rebates, and recognition of uh, innovation in the negotiations that take place. Control of overconsumption by taking specific measures, yet we haven't seen any. Uh, we expect the minister to uh, comment on this. Two million SARS uh, are asked from within the Ministry of uh, uh, Health to be reallocated in other appropriations in order to, to see how to tackle the cost of increased funding. Increased fund funding for 2023 based on uh, the GDP um, indicators. And finally, not a retro no, no more retroactive, um, retrospective, excuse me, um, character of these uh, measures because we are uh, called to uh, rebate the amounts from uh, previous years. The health sector has to go undergo reform by uh, uptaking several uh, measures, uh, by embracing a digitalization, healthy competition, and uh, the uh, capacity to give, and to give the, the patients the capacity to access innovative uh, treatments. This is to the benefit of all uh, customer, uh, all, all uh, patients and the society. It is important to have further funding for the health sector. Outside from the public purse, by developing proposals, so we do not ask the states to provide these monies for the further development of clinical trials that will give about, uh, bring about uh, new uh, resources and new uh, methods. So in the fourth industrial revolution, which is uh, the title of our conference, we will have the opportunity to speak uh, today and tomorrow on all these matters. So I wish that we'll have a very good uh, conference. Uh, thank you for being here. Now the president, Mr. Kitadolis Zakopoulos, of the um, uh, Medical Equipment and Diagnostics uh, of the uh, Committee of the Chamber to take the floor. 